Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India After the discussion with this uh, empowerment and the delegation and the team effectiveness, uh, now the question arises that is the how to lead the team, right? So, it is in this session we will talk about the enhancing the teamwork uh, within a group. So, teamwork uh, necessity uh, of the teamwork, characteristics of the components of teamwork, uh, benefits of teamwork. Uh, factors that promote teamwork in groups, uh, leaders role in teamwork, uh, uh, commitment and the agreements are there, meetings and the conflict resolution is there. Uh, then uh, we will also discuss uh, about the essential uh, uh, leaders skills for teamwork uh, and as usual uh, the uh, research paper, case study and book recommendations and references uh, used for this particular study material and for your further studies. Individuals play the game, but teams win the championships is there, right? So, therefore, in that case, uh, always whenever we are talking about uh, uh, that any particular sports, it, be, it is very important uh, that there is a coordination and synergy. Uh, now, I do not think now that is now I have to explain more on this particular slide because as you uh, have gone through the earlier sessions uh, which uh, in which we have talked about much talked about this uh, aspect is there, right? But uh, as we talk about the leadership and teamwork, then the it is an understanding commitment to a common goal on the part of all team members. This is very, very important is there. So, it is not only the responsibility of that particular uh, uh, the uh, uh, leader only, right. It, it, it is a collective collective uh, understanding is there and then whenever we are talking about the collective understanding then definitely here we will go by this uh, particular uh, common goal right and uh, uh, commitment for part of all team members. So, therefore, if we are having uh, uh, that uh, uh, the understanding by the all, then then only uh, we will be able to come out uh, with this particular aspects, right. So, uh, here uh, whenever we are talking about uh, the uh, joint responsibility and commitment, right, that is becoming very, very important is there. When uh, work is when two or more people work together cohesively towards a common goal, right, then it, it, it is becoming the this uh, teamwork uh, understanding is important. It is a creating a positive working atmosphere is there. So, uh, how do you create that culture? How do you the create that particular atmosphere? And uh, therefore, uh, it, it is the responsibility, it is the responsibility uh, of uh, the particular uh, uh, the uh, team not only of the team, hmm? it is not only of this uh, uh, the leader only, right. Now, we, we uh, after understanding the focus between the uh, leadership and the team both, now we are go going for the collective responsibilities. So, that is a work together cohesively. right? And towards uh, naturally a common goal which uh, we talk about, but this, this uh, atmosphere that is the uh, responsibility. Earlier, uh, uh, it, it, it was the responsibility was uh, only of the leader, it is the responsibility of the only of the subordinates to match with the their uh, um, bosses, but now it is not. It is a positive working atmosphere to be to be created by both and supporting each to combine individual strengths uh, to enhance the team performances there. And therefore, in that case, whenever there is a combined efforts are made right, to strength to enhance, then there will be the team performance will be there. Uh, teamwork is the concept of the people working together cooperatively as a team in order to accomplish the same goal or objectives are there. 
So, therefore, uh, this uh, uh, particular concept of the teamwork uh, to working uh, cooperatively uh, to work together, right? And uh, in uh, so, therefore, in that case, uh, this increased acceptance in the use of the team. Right, that suggests that their uses offers many benefits are there, right? And naturally, simply stated, it is less me and more we, right? And that particular uh, uh, the understanding is to be there. So that is uh, what is team? Team is the together everyone achieves more. Right. So, it is not the uh, individual what we will achieve will be more, it is uh, collectively we will achieve more. So, that I will uh, um, explain here that is these combined actions of a group of people when they work together in an efficient and effective capacity is there. So, what is required? The trust is required, support is required and that particular skills because uh, um, we have talked about the skill development also, right. So, therefore, in the process when the teams are working together, they are developing their skills, uh, cooperation is increased, right. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, that uh, the, the solutions solutions to the problems. So, that is a brainstorming is done and then therefore, that will be the planning is there. So, um, like here you see that is the it is like this right and uh, uh, then we, we have whenever we are talking about uh, this particular uh, the bridging the gap is there and then therefore, you can find that is the how the things are going right. So, uh, it becomes a uh, very, very important uh, that is uh, uh, that is uh, uh, whatever the knowledge and skill of the individual, they bring their best, right. So, therefore, then only in that case, uh, uh, that uh, two things will happen. One is the level, level of intellectual capabilities that will increase and then also in, uh, in addition to that, uh, that will also there will be the less errors will be there. So, more efficiency and effectiveness. Instead of working individually, the work will be easy if work together as team form is there. And I will use the word we and not I. Now, now, now you see this is uh, we have talked about the personality and leadership also. And therefore, it depends upon the individual's uh, value systems. What value system he is having? If the value system is that is the that is the V, that is V will do together, then definitely it will uh, be much much better. And whenever we are talking about the I, right? So then definitely um, it will be the which really will be difficult to get the um, work task and goals uh, more successful. Success may be there. Now here also I want to say. Many times the leaders they get the results and that is why when uh, it, 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 it becomes uh, their perception that is I, right. But when we see in the long term no and in long term you will find it is not the I, it is the V. Why? Because uh, when leader develops this tendency of I, slowly and slowly he will lose the support of the followers. So, first task will be done, second task will be done, third task will be done, tenth task will be done, but definitely on eleventh task the followers will fail that is the he gets the credits and he, he, he is not consulting us and there is no point working with him because there is no intellectual enhancement. Right. So, therefore, in that case that learning, learning is not there, capability enhancement is not there, then in that case uh, that concept of uh, I will be dangerous for the leader, people will st uh, competent people will st uh, stop working. Even if the uh, forcefully they are working with the leader, uh, they will not give their best. An opportunity for the healthy competition is there, who can do the best, uh, cross knowledge exchange with the ability to work together. Hmm? And therefore, in that case, it, it will be always uh, and that is the uh, 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 we, we say multidisciplinary actually, cross knowledge exchange will be there, multidisciplinary capability will be developed by the team. So, uh, having clear logical objectives, uh, supportive informal group atmosphere, use of humor is there, listening to others and giving constructive feedback, having people who can coordinate and accept responsibility collaborative for the deliverables, benefit from the working collaboratively, know when teamwork should be used to optimize results, uh, share information which may lead to shared decision, 
mutual dependency is there, people with the different skills uh, delegation to right skills person, right, and everyone under their roles and task is there. And uh, these uh, the components of teamwork, uh, which is the we have discussed uh, in, in the introduction of the group and team also communication, coordination, uh, mutual support, effort and the social identity is there. Now, let us uh, understand that is the, um, is, is this the charity to get this uh, uh, the teamwork uh, or it is the rule and regulation uh, because of that we have to work into the teamwork is there. So, uh, why we should work in the team, right. First and foremost is the, uh, that creativity and learning and learning of the individual dear friends. Simple example is of any particular project. Whenever you are working on a particular project, uh, then you will find that is that project uh, that will be depending upon uh, the person uh, who will be working with the other team members in the project. The project leader, because there will be the new opportunities for learning. Uh, in the organization, if you, you are doing the routine job, uh, so after some years, and uh, there is no uh, learning and uh, then you will lose your creativity. The job will be monotonous. So, therefore, in that case it becomes very, very important that is you are having the creativity and learning is there. Blends complementary strengths are there. Now, no, you have to achieve the goal, right. And to achieve the goal, this becomes very, very important that you are having these uh, uh, the personal different types of personalities are working surrounding to you. Are you able to make uh, the complementary to each other, right? If it is yes, then wonderful that your organization uh, effectiveness, individual effectiveness also for yourself also, it will be much better. Uh, 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 builds a trust and uh, support is there hmm? and therefore, uh, uh, that cohesiveness will increase, teaches the conflict resolution skills are there and uh, whenever um, we went to avoid when to accommodate, uh, when to compromise, right, and when to co collaborate. So, all these, uh, uh, these uh, con conflict resolution techniques that you will learn uh, because that, that particular experience will teach us. The improves the client satisfaction, uh, so business enhancement, business performance that will be increasing, promote a wider sense of uh, ownership. Right, and therefore, in that case, it, it, it is becoming uh, that is the whatever the ownership we are having, uh, that, that our uh, area, that zone will increase. You know? People will uh, in the organization, uh, within the organization, and outside of the organization also, you will be known for your uh, uh, the qualities, right? And uh, as a result of which, you will be the owner of the high intellectual capabilities encouraging the healthy risk checking and therefore, in that case uh, uh, the uh, moderate uh, moderate uh, risk checking will be there, healthy means moderate risk checking will be there, it is not too high not too low. Then the reduces the workload also. So, uh, here uh, because uh, the other persons are working with you, so sometimes the empowerment, sometimes the delegation, sometimes the responsibilities. So, therefore, the workload will be reduced and uh, reduces the sh uh, staff shortages because you, you are having the helping hands, so many helping hands are there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, in no, no work will stop for the sh staff shortages, reduces the stress and burnout among workers. Uh, as I was mentioning that is the workers uh, uh, employees uh, they, what they do that is they keep on working the routine job. So, that makes them play too, but they get burn out right. So, to avoid this uh, uh, that the teamwork is there. So, therefore, there is nothing like a burnout because new and new skills you are keep on learning and the innovations will be there, the new ideas will be developed because uh, two brains are always better than one. So, therefore, in that case that, that will be more innovative or innovations will be there, but uh, it is not that easy. There are certain problems uh, in the teamwork is there and uh, uh, why they because uh, why we are discussing all these uh, teamwork because uh, here we have to learn and develop. So, therefore, uh, it, it is uh, if you want to go for this particular uh, uh, functioning of the teamwork, you have to also see 
why why uh, the team works uh, group is not not converting into the team or what are the problems are there poor project management ineffective leader is there so therefore uh, uh, in that case uh, that, that will be uh, the uh, the uh, their proper not uh, management will be there so therefore uh, 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 there will be no coordination there will be no understanding and uh, as a result of which the, there will be the poor project management will be there ineffective leaders will be there and therefore uh, in that case uh, it, 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 it is becoming uh, that is the how the, uh, the leaders uh, that leadership style is not getting implemented and they are becoming the ineffective is there and the failure to compromise or the cooperate right and therefore in that case uh, it, it, it is becoming uh, the the uh, the uh, non cooperation rather in spite of the cooperation there will be the non cooperation there right uh, and uh, the people those who are working if their personality is not matching so they will not be working towards the common goal rather then uh, they will be um, having the no compromise for their uh, own uh, growth and development so that concept of no that which i talked about that is v and i so that concept of i will be more dominating if the concept of i will be more dominating uh, then uh, the, you will lose uh, that uh, compromise attitude so therefore uh, 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 ultimately there will not be a teamwork lack of participation uh, there are silent uh, members they do not participate if they do not participate though they are intellectually capable because they are in the team so they are in the team it means that they have been tested and taken as uh, right person in the team but now they they do not contribute so that will be the lack of participation will be there then the procrastination and the lack of confidence is there and uh, people are not having their confidence to perform to that particular task so therefore that will be another problem is there ultimately what will result a poor outcome will be there a poor quality work will be there and uh, there will be lot of conflicts among the team members and if uh, this is uh, happening uh, and then uh, uh, they, then if we go for the 720 degree uh, the feedback then in that case it will be the ineffective peer evaluation will be there the people peers only they will give the very bad uh, on the um, you know, feedback and under the resource estimation uh, whatever the resource was supposed to be used it will be an un, un, under resource estimation will be there and uh, uh, technically also that will be challenging so whenever this type of the all the common problems may arise that is if the persons are not working together uh, then uh, it will be very difficult uh, uh, to uh, overcome this particular teamwork then question of the leadership comes so therefore what is the leader's role in the teamwork is there so if th these are the problems and that is the objective to get the teamwork and uh, uh, accomplish the goal and task and uh, create the positive environment right but uh, this uh, if uh, we are uh, having this type of the problems uh, you might be having the problem uh, may may have the problem at your workplace uh, sometimes uh, so then in that case what is your role that uh, is suggested here so as a leader uh, you uh, has a different key roles in teams which they play very efficiently with respect to the ensuring teamwork uh, uh, quality by the team leader has to perform uh, the certain task right what are these task first is the effective communication is there now awareness now now you see that is the many times uh, um, um, there will be the certain employees right those uh, employees will be having uh, uh, the uh, either uh, they will be going for this uh, um, the uh, 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 this particular direction right or they may be going for the another direction what is required is this that is this uh, this bridging the this gap and whenever you are bridging this gap and changing the direction also so therefore uh, in that case uh, you are making the direction in this direction right so uh, here this is a direction this is a direction finally this direction and this is the leader's role right 
So, uh, how, how to convert this arrow into this direction, this change? And this change will be done through the effective communication. So, communication will be the mechanism and uh, therefore, in that case uh, uh, you can create uh, um, a team of the collaboration. Now, we have to also understand that is the whenever we are creating this team of collaboration, right. Now, uh, that then uh, in that uh, case, uh, you, you have to conduct the effective meetings, awareness are to be created. Whenever you will be having this awareness, right, effective meetings will be there, uh, you will tell them that is why there is a need to do this particular task and when we will be doing this task collectively, uh, then we will be achieving the goal. But sometimes you find that is the commitments of these, uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, team members, if that is low personalities, there are different personalities are there. Hmm? And uh, that is why uh, here one more point which I would like to mention. If you get the opportunity, your organization may or may not, I do not know, but if you get the opportunity, let the team be created by self, let the leader decide. Leader should be given the responsibility by the organization and leader should decide that is the what type of these uh, personalities he wants to choose and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that type of the commitments will be uh, required. Then the team working agreement is there. Now, whenever uh, once the commitment is developed, then yes we will work together right uh, and uh, but because as we have discussed in the group formation forming, storming, norming, performing and adjourning is there. So, there will be the conflict will be there and, and the leader should effectively play the role of a conflict management solver. So, therefore, in that case he should be able to manage that conflict and solve the conflict and effectively perform uh, the, uh, the team uh, creation of the team building and uh, taking the team uh, towards the Mm, growth. So, here mm, these uh, these mechanisms right that is the effective communication, effective meetings, commitments, team working agreements and the conflict management. If these tasks are done right definitely uh, that uh, uh, you will be able to create uh, uh, that type of uh, the relationship. Uh, uh, which we are looking for accomplishment of goal is there. So, uh, the suggestion is this that these are the mantras effective communication, meetings, commitments, team working agreement and the conflict management. These are the mantras for the leader's role is there right. So, responsible commitments is there hmm, uh, to that what type of these commitment uh, teamwork uh, commitment uh, de developing the team commitment towards team right? strive to meet them. Members must trust on another to do what they say. You know. So, therefore, uh, right from beginning we should not have a doubt whether this person will do or this person will not do and the many people say I bet he will not do. <laughs> so, therefore, in that case these type of the situations are to be avoided and they have the trust. Commitment is an ethic that must be learned right and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is the it, it is a part it is a part of the learning that is the yes we have to create that commitment. Commitment must be freely assumed uh, and uh, the it is it is a public is there. So, uh, and they make responsible commitments are there that is a define and estimate the work and conclude you can do it or not. So, therefore, in that case uh, it will be always uh, uh, that is the how uh, we, we are defining the work and the concluding uh, which we can do it or not right. So, that making commitments will be the very very important right. So, let, let them uh, understand that is what uh, 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 how to make the commitments and, and once you are committed to uh, then uh, then you do not deviate uh, uh, from your own commitment right. So, once committed always committed. No? So, it is not like this that is you are weekly have the commitment many times we see in the social media many people are weekly committed the next week they are not committed again they are commitment no no do not do like this May making the commitments is important.
the team work agreement is to be there uh, which will team members uh, sign up to each team member is expected to abide by the contract expectations each team has for its members and designed specifically for the each team all members are accountable for statements in agreement is there and leaders role taking input of every member before finalization ensure communication of agreement managing responsibilities as per the agreement is concerned and ensuring every member do their task as assigned are there so this will be the scheduling as early as possible uh, so therefore leaders role in meeting will be that is the making the regular timings uh, make sure everyone can attend the meeting and start meeting when everyone is there the meeting place and time should be sufficient to decide how far into the project team should meet don't spend too much time only on meeting is there right and that's why many times then the people uh, they stop over uh, coming to the meetings because they find that is the they are not able to do to do their jobs are there so always try to do make that is the uh, uh, um, involve the most of them those who can be there in the meeting and and they can attend the meeting right and also decide uh, uh, that is the how uh, how uh, scheduling of meetings hmm? that is the how many meetings will be there and then what will be done in this meetings preparation create agenda distribute agenda to provoke thought is there so accordingly it will be done then the procedure will be followed so complete each agenda item before moving to the next is there start discussion with a presentation of currently known facts comment and criticism should be actually solicited from all team members you know, and make sure uh, that is the they, they are presenting the idea that should be encouraged so whether we approve or we do not approve right but at least uh, we should appreciate and uh, they they are coming with uh, creating certain uh, their ideas are there and uh, differing ideas should be openly discussed the differences must be understood uh, advantages and disadvantages of the each idea should be pointed out is there so therefore a proper discussion can be there okay it is not like this that who is saying this idea it is the what is the idea is there and let us make the pros and cons of that advantages and disadvantages of understand that particular idea and that idea finally will be accepted or not accepted on the basis of this evaluation so each person must leave meeting with something specific to do before the next meeting so action item is there so they therefore they understand that is the because in the meeting no whenever you are deciding the next action item or the plan then it will be it will be discussed uh, and uh, then uh, if there will be any problem which will which are likely to arise and uh, th those problems uh, uh, will will be taken care of uh, um, by in the previous meeting right and that's why whenever the meetings minutes of meetings are circulated and they are confirmed first so if anybody is having any observation any problem and any comment so then they, at that time that can be uh, mentioned now um, for the conflict resolution the coming together is a beginning keeping together is a progress working together is success so therefore in that case uh, is indicative of introduction of variety of ideas conflict management is essential to the success of team and maintaining the spirit of teamwork different approaches leader can use for conflict management negotiating compromising forcing avoiding or the organized confronting will be there so on uh, the essentials communications feedback uh, persuasiveness uh, the respect uh, and the caring is there and the supporting is there then the, he should be able to solve the problem problem solving delegating motivating accountability decision making and the positivity is there so uh, if we uh, we if we go by this particular aspects uh, in the case of the this conflict management uh, and then creating the commitment uh, amongst the the team members and direction is there benefits are given meetings are timely conducted uh, i am sure that that is uh, our teamwork effectiveness uh, that is will be uh, uh, enhancing and and uh, 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 these leaders effectiveness that will also increase as usual this is the research paper that is the examining the teamwork and leadership in the fields of uh, public administration leadership and management is there right so in this paper uh, uh, he is uh, um, the author uh, uh, his uh, uh, studying about that is the uh, how leadership in the fields of public administration uh, that can be seen and, and uh, studied and the, then uh, in the in the uh, uh, the in public administration how the 
leadership and management and that, that has been done uh, for creation of the team is there. Right. So, therefore, this will be the team effectiveness. Uh, uh, the paper studied explore group of workers was expected to be permanent right and, and designated leader almost that many explored a group working with formal leadership by the workers supervisor is there. So, these are the findings of the, uh, the, the on this uh, paper. Uh, basically, what is the uh, implication of this paper and that the latent coding method of content analysis and the force choice in the selections. Even though content analysis has many strengths, the latent coding method of content analysis and force choice uh, selection requires a research to examine the overall content, right. So, this is the, uh, is, uh, but ultimately we find that is that look at the same data may be in, in interpreted by the different is there. And that was the research implication. The practical implication that uh, with a comprehensive analysis or teamwork and leadership, the extensive investigation presents a pivotal starting point for further developments in this emerging area. The content analysis found a proliferation of diverse organizations utilizing teamwork and this subject should be researched uh, more vigorously. Uh, Embrace pursue and promote teamwork, understanding the current state of the field will assist. Uh, so, therefore, we have to understand and then we have to make this the part, um, uh, for further uh, the uh, enhancement of our teamwork by taking the people together and not forcefully. Um, uh, now, this is the case study. Um, and then uh, uh, four weeks to research and prepare including two hours of class day. And then, then in, in that case, uh, paper evaluation by the team members uh, uh, that is the Jane Robert, Danny Sharon and Liz were assigned to team 3. Their first team meeting they introduced themselves and began to decide on a topic. After 45 minutes they were still trying to settle on a topic. They finally settled on money management. However, the instructor informed them that another team had already chosen that topic, but conflict management was still available. And then the robot tried to convince the group that they should present a role play of conflict. Sharon wanted to do research and uh, give a more detailed uh, and uh, informational presentation. So, Jane was excited by the role playing idea and suggested they make a video presentation of their own play acting is then. So, Denny fell asleep sometime before the topic was chosen and Liz sat quietly listening to her teammates. At the end of the class, no work division had occurred, but the team agreed to meet in a study area at 4.15 on the next Monday. So, here in this, the, here you will find that is there will be the and some will be the active participants, some will be the silent participants is there. So, they, uh, how they, they go for this particular uh, presentation uh, and then the, how um, they, uh, the process of uh, their team um, uh, making uh, has uh, been uh, proceeded that you, we will see in this case study. So, in uh, so on basis of this case study, the question is in your team, each member is to choose one of the characters in the case study, right, and uh, for the other members of the team. And then discuss the strength and weaknesses uh, displayed by the character, make a list of the all the last list three suggestions that could have been improved, uh, right, and discuss uh, own personal strengths and weaknesses. This type of the exercise can be done and can be used at a workplace and then we can talk about how these uh, team building and uh, that can be improved on, on, on the basis of uh, this type of the situations and different types of the team members are there and ultimately how the goal is to be achieved. Finally, this is the book recommendation, what must go right uh, and what can go wrong, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, how to form that particular team, uh, uh, eight properties of successful team, a clear elevating goal, a result driven structure, competent team members, unified commitment, collaborative climate, standards of excellence, external support and recognition, principled leadership. A final chapter examines the priority of the steps that lead to the building of a high performance team is there. So, therefore, while you will be reading this particular book, you will be able to come out that is the how the how to create the high performance team. These are the references for your further studies and uh, you can also make uh, uh, these uh, uh, the, uh, the content uh, is uh, taken from this particular um, uh, references only. Thank you.